This is a three-part video tutorial about modeling, texturing, and rendering a computer-generated Christmas tree. The entire process was done in less than 30 minutes. I'll be using Wings 3D and Daz Studio, which are both free, and Adobe Photoshop, which is not free. However, there are free image editing alternatives out there, such as GIMP, in which the process should be very similar. I've uploaded a final version uh, for Poser and Daz Studio, which you can download from my website at ageofarmor.com 3D. All right, this is the Christmas tree making tutorial, and I'm going to be moving along very, very quickly. So if you need to, you can pause, rewind, go back, whatever you like. First thing I'm going to do is make the model, and I'm going to do that in Wings 3D. Starting off with a blank workspace here. I'm going to right-click anywhere on that workspace, and I'm going to create a cylinder. Go up to the top here and select Face Mode. And that's the one right there. And select by clicking the top and bottom faces. After those are selected, right-click and go to Material, and make those a hole. Now we want to select the opposite, so we do shift Control i and then right-click, go to UV Mapping. Up here, select the Edge Mode, and select any edge you like. It doesn't matter which one it is, as long as it's one of the vertical edges. Right-click, mark edges for cut, continue unfolding, and there is the texture area for that cylinder. This is normally a bad practice, but I'm going to scale it to the max vertical. The reason why that's bad is it distorts the UV map, but in this case it will be cool. Alright, now close that window, it's fine. Hit spacebar to deselect it, and you notice over here that material area, that UV mapping, is called Cylinder 1 underscore AUV, which doesn't make much sense. So let's rename it, and this someday will be our trunk, so let's call it Trunk. Alright, and let's hide that cylinder and create a new one. Go to the vertices mode, or the vertex mode, and select any two opposite each other. It doesn't matter which ones, as long as they are opposite each other. And hit C to connect them. Go to Edge Mode, and select that edge that we just created. Cut it into two. And go to Face Mode. Right click, and let's triangulate that. Hit Space Bar. Alright, and back to the Vert Mode, and we'll select the one right in the middle and move it down just a little bit. So that it puts a little bit of a dish on the top of the, in this top surface and go back to face mode. Now all the faces surrounding that one vert are selected. And we're going to extract that region. Extract it Y, just a little bit, doesn't really matter. Now don't deselect it or select anything else at this point. This is a little thing with the way Wings 3D works is it doesn't really like true two-dimensional objects and this is two-dimensional. It only ha it has no thickness, it's only flat planes. And it'll make it difficult to reselect if you unselect it. Anyways, let's go to UV mapping and continue by projection normal. And there's a UV map of that surface. Now that it's mapped, it doesn't matter whether you select something else or unselect it, it doesn't matter. Uh, go to object mode and select this piece below and delete it. Alright, now what we've got here is called Cylinder 2 Extract 3 AUV, and that doesn't make much sense, so let's rename that to Branch. And let's move it Y and drop it to the floor. Well, or close to the floor. That looks good. And let's duplicate it. Duplicate Y move it up just a little bit and scale it a random amount scale uniform and just shrink it down just a little bit since we're making a tree we want this to be somewhat irregular so some randomness is good let's rotate that Y and go hundred and some percent it doesn't really matter again we're just going for random alright now select both those disks and combine them 
then duplicate them. Why? Again, just a random amount and scale them a random amount. And then rotate them along the Y axis a random amount. Select those two, combine them, and duplicate them. Why? And again, with a little bit of random Y rotation, select both of them, combine, and duplicate. Why? And rotate it again. Yes, you guessed it. Why? And combine those. Duplicate. Why? This is the last time. And rotate it a random amount on the Y axis. Select both those things and combine them. All right, we're done making all the branches. You can go ahead and hit spacebar and deselect it and then turn on this bottom cylinder that's to be our trunk. What I want to do is want to move it up a little bit here and scale it so that it's about as tall, a little bit taller than uh want to scale its y-axis so that it's about as tall as our set of branches here, somewhere in that neighborhood. Let's move it y. Let's move it till it's just touching That's the center of the top branch. All right. Right-click, and let's scale radial y. And I'll bring it down to, oh, I don't know, 6.5%. Somewhere in that neighborhood. That's good. All right, and select the branches again and combine both of those. All right, with everything combined, doesn't look much like a Christmas tree, but here's where the magic happens. Go to the vertex mode again, and down here where it says deform, select that and go to taper. And taper, yes, that's right, Y. Moving the mouse, uh, tapers this into a nice Christmas tree shape. That looks pretty good, and I'm going to scale radial wide just so it kind of makes it a little, little sharper of a point. Okay, now remember when I said that Wings 3D doesn't like two-dimensional objects? Well, there's a little thing that happened that we need to fix real quick. Each one of those branches, a extra face has been added so that Wings 3D can deal with it while it's doing the modeling. Now we can fix this by going up to Select, By, Faces With, five or more. Notice that there's 32 faces that have been selected. These are all, ooh, look at that. Right underneath there you can see those. Those are the magic faces that Wings 3D added in order to make each one of those branches three-dimensional. Right click those, go down to material, and select whole. Now when we export our model, those will be omitted. All right, there is our Christmas tree. So let's go ahead and export that. Export selected as a wavefront object and I'm gonna call it tree. Alright now our Christmas tree model is made and finished exported and mapped. We just have to make the textures and do the rendering which will be in the next parts of the tutorial.